Look at that. Hey guys, what is up? It is Biff from the new relocated Fearless Mods Garage here in Illinois. And I am here today with a do-it-yourself public service announcement video for you to start off the season. In. All right, so if you're like me, this coronavirus stuff has you on the ropes and you are in search of toilet paper because everybody knows that when the zombie coronavirus apocalypse hits your location, they're gonna be looking for toilet paper and you need to be able to give them plenty of it to fend them off. Maybe you're like me and you're out here in the store and you're checking out your toilet paper and your paper goods aisle and lo and behold, the shelves have been cleaned out. This entire side where toilet paper normally would be, completely gone. But look what's still left. Paper towels. People aren't thinking about these paper towels. So grab yourself a couple packs of paper towels and let me show you how you can turn these into an endless supply of toilet paper, thus saving yourself from the coronavirus apocalypse. Okay, so once you've bought your six pack of paper towels, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and um, before you get started, you're gonna to have to go to the uh, discount tool store near you. I went to Harbor Freight and picked me up this, this nice bandsaw. Um, now you're gonna to wanna to get out there and do that pretty rapidly because sure enough, once this video gets out there and people see how easy this is, there's gonna be a run on these bandsaws at the, at the discount store. So you're gonna to have to get out there and get one of these pretty quick. Um, but once you've got it, you're in business. And so I'll just go ahead and get going on the setup here. Now you wanna make sure you get this all good and sanitized. Uh, after all, the whole purpose is to uh, be able to avoid the uh, coronavirus. So I, uh, I find that a good greasy um, shop rag that's been kind of wet down with some, some unfiltered water tends to work pretty good. Just a quick little sanitary scrub and a promise for a more thorough job later, right? So I think what we're gonna to have to do is, is uh, as we're coming down here on the, the piece, we'll just have to guide it through here. We'll use uh, some push bars and stuff like that to make sure that we're safe. That looks good. Just about fits now. Looks like one bit over here. So I think up against that stop is gonna be a good spot. Should be able to get her started and guide her on down through here. This one here is obviously the, the six paper towel version. So just some quick, simple math, and you should be able to get about a dozen out of this, give or take a couple. And uh, we'll just see how it turns out after the cutting. Um, but I'm guessing that we'll probably get about 12 of them. So um, if you need more than 12, you might need a bigger roll, a uh, bigger package of paper towels, but you also might need a bigger saw um, so this one seems to be appropriately sized for this saw that I have. So uh, let's go ahead and give it a try. I certainly want to have safety first, so we're going to go ahead and get eye protection on here. And uh, I'm going to put on some thick leather working gloves. You don't want any of the shards from the stainless steel fibers in the, in the center cores of these tubes to, to fly up in your eyes or to cut your hands. So, all right, we're all set, here we go. Continue to guide her and bring her down. Well, this is a problem we've been having with this saw and something you might run into is uh, those stainless steel cores can tend to knock your belt off the track. So a little bit of maintenance here and there with the discount tool might be required. All right, so our cut's looking good. I think we're gonna have to do this in four segments because this is starting to hit up against here. So we will go ahead and uh, flip it around, get our safety gear back on, and ready to do cut number two out of what we assume will be four. So I just wanna take a minute to point out, it's a good sign actually that this belt keeps kicking off of here because that means that we, got, we have some good sturdy toilet paper. You don't want anything that's gonna to be too light. Um, it needs to have the ability to, uh, it needs to have knockdown power uh, when you're firing these things out your door at, uh, at somebody with coronavirus, you wanna be, be able to knock them down, you know what I mean? So that you have time to, 
to uh, grab more toilet paper. Perhaps you can even grab theirs while they're down. That would be perfect, huh? Look at that. Okay. And that right there is what you call a job well done. Let's look at all these rolls of toilet paper we got. I'm gonna count them up. There's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12. Sure enough, it ended up uh, giving us 12 rolls of good toilet paper out of just one pack of, of six paper towels, heavy duty. So we're set to go. And these, these have got some good, I think they've got some good knockdown power um, that we can use, uh, you know, regardless of what you want it. What, whatever you use toilet paper for during, during a, a, a pandemic, um, we're set for it. I don't know, it's my first pandemic I've lived through, so, um, but uh, you know, this is as good as any toilet paper I've ever seen in any pandemics I studied in history. Good grease marks on here shows that we had a, a good bit of lubrication on our belt. A couple good things we learned here was if it's kicking your belt off, that's a good sign because that means you're getting into it. You, you probably got some toilet paper with a good uh, core that has some, some uh, stainless steel fibers in it, kicking off some sparks. Uh, it's also a good heavy toilet paper, so that'll work out really good uh, for knockdown power. So again, just some tips there to take. My, my advice to you is to get out there and get your bandsaw as soon as you can so that you can, uh, so you can survive this onslaught, the run on the toilet paper, and be ahead of the bow wave for the run on bandsaws. So anyway guys, that is another episode of uh, Fearless Mods for you there. I hope you found this one useful and that you'll be able to get out there and survive the pandemic yourself. Uh, if we all survive, I'll see you on the other side. And hopefully we have some more good content coming for you for the Subaru, uh, the Trans Am, uh, whatever might be going on. So uh, welcome to the new garage here in Illinois. Please, if you haven't liked and subscribed, man, what's keeping you? Look at this. Useful knowledge and tips to save you in a nationwide, worldwide pandemic. So that's going to be it, guys. All I can say is get out there, be safe, and we'll catch you again real soon. Take care.